Hey there friends, how the heck are ya? And welcome to the soft-ish reboot of my art channel in the form of a sketchbook tour. Um, I really like watching this type of video and filming my last one it was really cool and like got some pretty good reception so I figured hey let's do that again. I filmed an intro in the actual video when I was filming the, the actual sketchbook but I stinked it up real bad so here I am doing it again. So without further ado, here is my sketchbook. Anyway, it's been like two years, I think, since the last sketchbook tour. I th I've done more sketchbooks than this, but this was like my current, like, I finished it like a month ago, I think. So we're gonna go through it, and I have more stickers on it this time. Check this out. I found this one on the floor, and then the rest are like other artists, I believe, and someone just gave me this at a con. She was like, you want this? And I was like, yeah. All right, anyway, this is a bad start. Okay, that's better. So, um... I was gonna make this into a print, but then I didn't, and that's the end of her. That was a commission that I didn't follow up on, and this is me using the sketchbook backwards and ending up drawing things backwards. It's Nezuko! Yeah! Okay. okay. More backwards, people. Um, I had a dream about this little lad, and I was like, I must draw you. So. I gave him a little story kind of related to the dream, and now they're, they're friends and stuff. Oh, here's where I start using it normally. I drew this when the Spinel movie came out. I felt for her, and her song slapped, so she deserved fan art. And then here's another Nezuko, flipping it back around. I was sick of drawing her kimono, but I wanted to draw her again, so she's a little school uniform. And here's... I don't know what the purpose of this was, I just felt like drawing her. Um, she's my Cyclops OC Celia. Here's her wing. <laughs> I forgot about this. I really like how this one turned out though. She's thick. There's a really, oh, there we go, really f***ed up sketch there. And this, I don't know if this was one of their dream OC, I think this was an OC based off of another, like a, I have dreams sometimes that are like really chill and cool and like world buildy. -y. And I roll with them, and so she's part of one of those. Uh, it's based on like a desert, she's like a desert elf prophet thing, but she, it's complicated. I think she's cute, she's got little horns. And there's her boyfriend. And there's those guys, I didn't finish this, because I, I don't know why, I just didn't, look how long her arm is, I hate those. That's why I didn't finish it. Here's some two completely normal guys, but more OCs. And then Sakura Tomoyo. Um, this is based on the cosplay that I did, and then I, she needed a girlfriend, so there she is. Um, these are buttons now, so if cons ever open up again, buy my stuff. Yay. There's them again. I don't. I feel like I was trying to like nail down character designs and like draw them a bunch, because like I've been wanting to make these guys into a comic for like years and years and years, but I'm a little piss baby and don't don't ever draw the comic, even though I have story ideas and characters. I'm just scared. I really like how this turned out. This head's too big, but colors really worked. Here's me designing my Mothman Kigurumi type thing. Can you see that even? Yeah, it's a little bit. And here's my Arcana OC, or fan apprentice, whatever they call them. And Faust, because I love her. I think that's Portia and Julian. I tried to make her like a fancy formal outfit based on the uh, masquerade and I really like how this turned out but then I tried to draw it bigger and it didn't worry. She's hard, oh, what's her name? Seraphim from Your Turn to Die. She's really hard to draw and I guess I never finished it because she's got a little cherry on top so that was me trying to make good and then I just gave up and made a chibi. They're, they just cannot control themselves, good grief. This was a bad time. <laughs> oh no, I, I just felt like drawing Boo Bear, trying to get her to art block and it didn't work because this is what happened. Nice. And there's more circles that I was gonna make into buttons and this got like no notes on um, Instagram so I was like, eh, let's, maybe not. And it's a random OC guy. Some sad Sarah because She's become like a comfort character, or whatever they call them, to me, and 
this feel emo, so I drew her sad, and there's a bonus. This is the cutest thing I've like ever drawn. <laughs> I love Joe so much. This is me trying to draw realistically, not him. Um, I think this is uh, Mashstick Cosplay, and I don't remember who that is, and this is one of my birds. Follow her. Follow her if you figure out who that is, and follow my birds on my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. And then I drew this when Indivisible came out. Cause he's a little hoe bag and I really like him, his design. And there's more of those guys. What the hell is- oh, this is me trying to make sense of Lisa Lisa's outfit and then some thumbnails for this. It just didn't turn out. I tried again and it did turn out and then I tried to draw her again. Um, Demon Girl. I've never seen this anime. I just really like her little watermelon colors. I don't remember what this is. Oh yeah, it's Jonah and her again. This is me trying to, again, make them work. There is a Mona and my Digimon self-insert character. Um, I've been redesigning her like every couple of years since I was like 11 years old. And this is her right now. Her name's Yumi and Elekmon is her partner and Ty is her boyfriend down there. <laughs> She was literally just a self-insert so I could shit myself with the characters when I was a little bab. But now she's she's her own person now and has a big old coat with bunny ears on the back. And I love her. Oh god. There's some more Sarah's and Joe. I must have turned out cute. There's some little outfit doodles. And plant people. This is a moon cactus and I think she's an aloe. And that's as far as I got with those guys. Oh, I like that. Um, this is from the Monster Girl Maker. That ugh, I don't remember the artist name, but I'll put it in there. Edit, cut, and so are these. And I like the design, so I drew them out. I think I drew this at Christmas. Like, yeah, I was. I drew this one like sitting on the couch with my dad, and then I made them girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness gracious! I can't, I can't even explain this page. So I won't, I won't try. There's some more worms. I tried to like, I felt like it was a texture I could watercolor and good, but eh. I'm still really bad at watercolors, yeah. I don't like that. What? Oh! 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 Um, Morgan drew me this at JFAX. I still have it and I don't know. This is like my color checking, like save. That was probably not a great edit. Anyway, here's Double Trouble in their, like, Princess Prom, like, cameo outfit. And this is, um, I was trying to draw spider flowers for, uh, the Hell Girl thing that I did. Hold on. This. I used, like, craft paper and then, because I, I drew it and then I didn't like the composition, so I just cut it out and made other composition. Woo! Keep that there. Uh, this is a lot of D and D people. There's him again. I tried to. Looks <laughs> so bad. Let's just move on from that. There he is a little better. This is like the stiffest I've ever drawn a person, but I just really wanted to remake his outfit because he's it's like level eight, I think, in canon. And then there's some Pokemon sketches and a trash and oh god, look at him. And then, um, Kirby. These are based on Pit Crew designs that I made myself, and then I just drew them. And they're Instagram with their, um, original designs. Some more Pokemon boys. <laughs> I really hated this face, so I just did that. And, um, oh, there he is again. Good, good grief. Um, this is my... Jojo fan character stand. I was trying to make it look cooler. And I think I drew it later on. I don't remember. And um, this is a failed concept. So, oh, there she is again. And there's Rika from Higurashi because I was like, I remember that fondly. But I really don't want to watch it again because I probably won't remember it as fondly if I after I watch it because it's about little girls who murder each other. And this is Rain Dance Maggie. I could make make like a whole video on her just like because I like way overthought this character. <laughs> it was for like a JoJo RP event on Tumblr and I was like, I'm gonna go hog wild making a JoJo OC. 
and I still really like her design and um, her stance is, is Black Hole Sun. Both very good songs. Okay, here's another censorship. His hand was like so bad that I didn't, I just put a little man there. And um, this is when the Tokyo reboot, uh, bleh, Tokyo Mew Mew reboot, like dropped. I bought the, um, I don't remember what the actual magazine was called, but the serialization book or mook that the new Tokyo Mew Mew came out in. And it was like $20. And I couldn't even read it, and it was like one chapter, but their designs were so cute! Like their little hair thingies, and him in casual clothes, and... This is gonna be an anime, I love Tokyo Mew Mew! So okay. And, uh, I think this was another Monster Girl maker that turned out worse than the other ones. I don't know what that is, I don't remember. Yeah, no, this was another Monster Girl, and then there's Princess Peachy, I was trying to do more realism. I'm just drawing Instagram people that I liked. And this, it may look like that one OC that I have, but it's not. I just really like little imp girls. <laughs> um, it's She's from a game called Summon Knight. Summon Knight 2, I believe. And it was a it was a game on the Game Boy that I really liked when I was a kid. And I tried to play it again recently on like an emulator, and it was it was really bad. Like like I don't know, the characters were really cute, and the, I didn't know better in terms of gameplay when I was a kid. <laughs> anyway. Here's some more people. I think these were just like random like J fashion models and then these two were Billie Eilish and it looks nothing like her because I'm not good at realism yet. And then there is Chili Tides OCs that we did for trade. And then there's those guys again. What are they doing? I like this shirt. <laughs> I want this in real life. <laughs> and um, yeah, I still haven't made that comic. How about that? This is another artist that I like. Um. I don't want to out myself as drawing her because like I didn't ask or anything. And then there's a guy who I don't remember who you are. I'm sorry. You know who you are. He see this. And then there's another one. And then there's a Kirby mouth. <laughs> Yo, you hungry, Kirby? Have some chapstick. <laughs> I got the circle cutter from my my button maker, and this is just what naturally occurred. And that's where we will leave this sketchbook tour. Thanks for joining me. If you like that, let me know. I like talking about stuff, but filming is really weird and awkward. But if I do it more, I'll be good at it. Probably. That's usually what they say about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Smash that like button. Okay, bye, I love you.